How's it going guys? Um, Jack Pugsley here and welcome to the channel. Welcome to the, the live stream. Um, yeah, more transfer news coming out of the city ground today. Um, Fode Bature, uh, yeah, a name that it's going to take me a while to pronounce. I've looked on Google how to how to pronounce it and that's the best I can do. Uh, Fode Bachero, Bach, it's, it's an awful name to pronounce. Um, but yeah, Fode Bacheru has signed on a two-year deal. Um, the midfielder, the centre midfielder, can play as a CDM, can play as a CAM, I believe, but mainly as a centre midfielder. Um, signed him from Malmo Club in Sweden. Uh, and yeah, obviously a player that I don't think any Nottingham Forest fans would have known um, before, his, before his signing. Not a well-known player across the road. Uh, road, sorry, across the world. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I've seen a few clips of him on YouTube. I know you can never judge a player. Um, by YouTube, but still very happy with this. Very good that we've got some some good depth in that midfield this season now. Um, yeah, Fode Bacharui. I, I still can't say his name. Sorry if this is uh, really embarrassing looking back in about the, ne the next five months when we all know his name. Uh, remember, I got Ben Luan's name really wrong. I think I said Ben Luane. Um, it, it all happens. We all make mistakes. Uh, but yeah, Bacharui is a Nottingham Forest player. Um, yeah, 30 years old, 31 years old, I believe. Um, got a lot of experience. Played in the Scottish League for Morton. Um, he's also played for PSG. He grew up in in Paris, I believe, and he was playing through the Paris Saint Germain youth team. So he's got a lot of experience. He's played with a lot of good players. Uh, so he has been at PSG, been at Morton, the Scottish team, had a lot of experience there in a very physical league. Um, and uh, yeah, at Malmo, and I've seen a lot of clips on him. And I know you can't really can't really judge a player uh, from YouTube, but um, yeah, just 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 very happy with this. Very happy with the business we've done so far. Obviously, Lyle Taylor was an amazing signing, um, and then you have Tyler Blackett as well, Jack Colback. Um, so yeah, very very happy with this signing. Uh, but yeah, Fode Bachure is a red. Delighted with it. Like I said, the guy's got experience. Um, the club obviously know what they're doing, and I believe that the Lamucci's been a fan of a fan of Fode Bachure for a while now. I believe that he tried to sign him when he was at Rennes. I heard something about that. So uh, yeah, a player that. That Sabri likes the look of, um, that's that's mainly important. You know that Sabri actually likes him, um, because you know I think I think a lot of the signings such as Bong, Diakabe, I don't know if they were Sabri's decision. I don't know if Sabri actually wanted them. Um, I mean I think Diakabe was one of his signings, but the likes of the likes of Bong, I don't I don't think Sabri really really knew anything about him. Um, but this season it looks like we're giving Sabri the the players that that he wants, um, which is important because you know if you if you're gonna have a manager you need to you need to trust him. Um, you need to give him the right players. You need to give him the right money. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's in, it's important that we that we do that. Um, and they're signing a third battery, a player that that Sabri likes. Um, so yeah, very happy with it. Got a lot of experience playing the Swedish league. Um, he's also played in the, uh, in the in the in the French league as well. So he's got a lot of experience. A player that I'm very happy about. I don't know if he'll start. You know, we've got a lot we've got a lot of squad depth in that midfield now. Um, you know, Colback, Sal, um, etc. The list goes on. Silver, Carvalho can play as a cam. Um, so yeah, very very happy with the signing. Obviously, we've made we've made some better signings in the past, but you can't say that again. I don't know why I just said that because it's new. We don't know much about the player. He could be one of our best players. You know, we brought in Sam Basau and we didn't know much about him. I don't think any Forest fans really knew anything about him um, or at all. We brought in Sam Basau and a player that had experience himself, thirty years old, thirty one years old, like uh, Fode Bachere, uh, Bacheru. Uh, I'm, I'm awful about that. I don't know how to how to pronounce his name. Um, but yeah, look, we we have to wait and see. He could be he could be a brilliant player. Could be one of the best players in the league. You see Brentford bringing bringing players from the foreign transfer transfers and people like people from France, etc. Um, but yeah, it's just really really good business. I'm happy with it. Obviously, I, again, I think it was the fee was around six hundred k, so it wasn't like we're spending like we're spending loads as well. So good business by the club. Delighted with it. Um, and this season is the year. Obviously, I don't know when fans will be back. So I can't bring my uh, my favourite sort of content, matchday vlogs, back. That's something that I wanna wanna try and get back. Um, might have to be the live streams for now. But um, yeah, again, Fode Bachere is a red. He's a Nottingham Forest player, the midfielder. Um, for again, I, I believe a fee of six hundred k. So yeah, very very happy with it. And uh, yeah, just, just delighted with the business so far. It's looking like a good good transfer window so far. Can't deny that. Callback Taylor. Uh, Tyler Blackett and now Fode Bachere. Bachere, guys, this is going to be embarrassing when I'm looking back in the season when I know his name. But um, yeah, the guy is a red. Happy with the business. Fingers crossed we can bring a few more signings in. Uh, hopefully we're not done there. I want to spend a bit more money first. Obviously, I know we've got to, 
got to try and sell. Hopefully, cash and cash and Warrell don't go. I mean, a good fee I would accept. You know, if we got a good fee for Warrell, then I mean, I I wouldn't really say no personally. Um, I want to keep cash, but if we get a decent enough fee for Warrell, which I think he was a good player last season, I think we've got to make money, um, and we haven't really got many players we can sell for loads. And obviously, I really want to keep cash. So I want to keep cash, but Warrell we could get quite a lot of money from. So fingers crossed we can do that. Uh, well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to sell Warrell. That's, uh, I can't lie. But if we have to make, have to make some money, um, some way or another, then if that's where we've got to do it. Sell Warrell to Burnley. Then I mean, we have to wait and see. Obviously, I know we're linked with Luke Freeman, um, player that I'm a big fan of when he was at QPR and now at Sheffield United. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and uh, yeah, Fode Bashare is a red, guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you're happy with the uh, with the business. Put your comments in the uh, in the chat now. Um, tell me your guys' opinion about Bachelor. If you've got any, I mean, I don't think we know who he is really. So we'll have to wait and see. I've seen a few clips, like I said, on YouTube. You can't really judge anything by YouTube, but yeah, I think this is a good sign. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Good squad depth player. Uh, he's physical as well. I've heard he's, he's five foot six, five foot seven, but still a physical player. But so, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Fode Bachare is a red. Cheers, guys.